Two adults, four dogs, and weapons found inside of a Washougal home. Investigators continuing the tedious process of recovering evidence from the rubble of a shooting and fire scene. And K2's Megan Kalkstein has learned new details tonight about the people who neighbors say live in the home and still have not been found. Investigators are still on the scene here trying to collect evidence from the now completely destroyed home on F Place. They tell us they have not yet identified the two bodies found in separate locations inside of the home, and they still have not accounted for the three people who live here. Cell phone video captures chaotic moments of gunfire and explosions coming from this Washougal home, a home owned by Steve Stanberry and his wife Lee since 2002. Uh, he was always a big fellow for uh, flying uh, fireworks whenever it was the 4th of July. You never used to have to worry about buying your own. He would always uh, have it and you could bring up your lawn chair. Investigators say Stanberry also had multiple weapons, including rifles and handguns here. But this may not be his first run-in with the law. We found records of a Steve Stanberry in Bonner County, Idaho from 1994. On Christmas Eve that year, according to these documents, Stanberry's then estranged wife wanted to take the kids, but he wouldn't let her, allegedly threatening to kill her and others. According to the documents, quote, Stanberry picked up a 45 caliber handgun, held it at his side, and threatened to kill her, law enforcement, and anybody else who tried to get the children. The documents also claim Stanberry had injured his back and saw a counselor in 1988. They claim, quote, Stanberry was diagnosed as delusional schizophrenic. The psychiatrist wanted to commit Stanberry, but he refused. He also refused any medication. But what happened here, why or even who was really involved, is still a mystery, especially to those who witnessed it. Because it was on my mind all night. I used to be in the Army, and when I found out they didn't find him yesterday, it bugged me. Investigators tell us they will be back on the scene here early Friday morning trying to look for more clues or even a potential third victim. They say this process could take a couple more days. In Washougal, Megan Cockstein, K2 News. And here's what we uncovered by checking Lee Stanberry's Facebook page. Her 18-year-old daughter, who recently gave birth, wrote, I love you, Mom, so very much. I wish you would come back to me. You and Aunt Mo both. Please come back. Aunt Mo is Mona Valinsky Doherty. She's Lee's twin daughter, twin sister, who is living in the house with a couple. The fiance of Lee's daughter wrote, Emily's doing good and is finally happy that Steve is dead. He says she hasn't gotten the full hit yet of her mother and aunt passing away because she is still in shock and disbelief. Of course, stay with K2 News for continuing coverage of the house fire and shooting investigation. In between our newscasts, you can go to K2.com.